Now I mentioned the fake crying thing. I'm gonna pay you the clip and make up your own mind on this one, okay? Play the clip. And I would just like to express our sincere gratitude and thanks to everybody, but particularly the local community here who have offered so much support. I couldn't have asked for more. I just want to say thank you. Please continue to pray for Madeline. I'm sorry. How is anyone meant to believe that that was a genuine cry? Not only was it the voice, the voice didn't sound right. You're making the noise, but it, again, it didn't really sound right. No tears, and it, it just you can tell it's a fake emotion. That was fake crying in front of the press. I don't know. Maybe she was trying to cry, and because she's all cried out, maybe she couldn't cry. I don't know, but it, it feels like she was trying to force the cry, and that that's kind of strange to me. Why why would you try and fake cry? Surely be full of emotion if your daughter is missing. I know I definitely would be if I was in that position, even though I don't have kids. But you know, what I mean, I, I'm pretty sure if my daughter was missing, I, I'd be, I'd be in bits. But also be tearing around the country trying to find my daughter. This brings me to Jerry. We need to talk about Jerry and his cold, matter of fact attitude. Like, Jerry is a very cold and calculated individual, and he's handled this whole thing. Like, he's done all the talking, and the way that he manages to speak in such a professional, educated, well spoken manner while his daughter is missing without breaking into tears and stuff. Jerry's a very cold individual. Now I know his job is to be a surgeon and your bedside manner isn't great and you're supposed to be able to switch off and this sort of thing, but this is your daughter we're talking about. And not only just your daughter, this is the daughter that you had to get through IVF treatment because you were struggling to have children. This like Maddie is a very special baby. This this is a very strange situation and Jerry being able to be so cold and so calm the entire time concerns me. And check out this clip where he actually stormed off. Check this out. Because Jerry's always missed that in control, regardless of whether he did it or not, but especially if he did it. If he thought, oh, I've got a lid on this now. We, we're out, we're in the clear now. When this happens, it's the first time we've ever seen him shaken. Yeah. He rips the microphone off. No, I'm not doing this now. And it's the first time I'm like, in my head, I thought, oh, you're rocked. Yeah. You are, you're worrying. That doesn't look suspect at all, does it? Not at all. Listen, like, I don't want to accuse him of anything, I don't want to put my, my foot in my mouth or anything, but it doesn't look good for the McCanns at this point. We are in a time now where facts and truth and surety of things is probably at one of its lowest ever in history. 